Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our Road to Glory run here with Buxton. And uh, <laughs> things are starting to fall apart in a very, very big way. We are tumbling down the uh, the rankings here uh, the, uh, in our Vanarama National North. Uh, let's get into it. All right, here you are. As you can see, it has not been going well. The last thing you guys saw uh, was the Peterborough Lemington uh, matchups. Uh, we drew the Peterborough Sports. We lost majorly to Lemington. Uh, we ended up against Gateshead. Now, this one, um, to be fair, Gateshead is in the league above us. We lost it. We still got credit for being competitive in the FA Trophy. Sort of no harm, no file to some degree, but not great, you know. I then decided at this point, I was like, okay, look, last five games we've been, you know, we're under, right? We're under on the over, uh, on losing on the number of points we should be getting. We're not, we're not at 50, 50 anymore. Um, so let's try a different formation. So I've tried the, uh, the four, two, three, one formation and draw, draw, draw. That's all we got. I did three games in a row of that three draws in a row. I mean, to be fair, the three draws are better than the book ended two losses on each side. Um, but three draws in a row, not a lot to say about these games. Just devastating, like just just sad to see, quite frankly. I then swapped back to the original formation, the one that's been working through all this, right? The one that got us into first place. Two absolutely devastating losses in a row, all right? So, I mean, I, th I guess you could say draws are better than losses, but honestly, I don't know that they really are. Um, I mean, they are, but it's just, it's not great, right? So... Absolutely devastating losses. So, I really haven't changed much. I really haven't. Um, I tweaked a few people around, and I tweaked a few uh, instructions for some people, kind of what role they're playing. Small things. Um, I mean, we're currently six, so we're, we're right exactly where the media wants us to be. We're right exactly where the board kind of wants us to be, kind of right in the playoffs. We're not where we are capable of, of obviously, so we've got to find a way to turn this thing around. Um, I mean, I think first place is definitely getting away from us. I don't think it's possible for us to reach that 13 points, uh, sorry, 12 points uh, ahead of us. But I think if we don't turn something around, we're going to lose lose the playoff spot, right? We're going to get out of the playoffs here. So we definitely want to try and stick in the playoffs. I don't think I've actually finished any transfers. Um, yeah, because you guys saw Lee and Thomas. Uh, I did get rid of... Um, Patterson left on the first that he was already kind of booked in to, to leave. Uh, we didn't have him on a contract anyway. Uh, Molt, we, uh, he left. We really weren't using him. And then Poole left. We weren't using him. So trying to free up some more financial space, if you will. Uh, and I'm just trying to find somebody, somebody that can get into here. Uh, and so far, it hasn't been great. I've got an offer out for this guy, Lewis Thompson, uh, who would probably be a little bit of a better defensive line, uh, defensive guy on the left-hand side. Um we will see, but I'm just trying to find something. So here's what I ended up with. Here's the tactics we're running with right now with the best possible piece, people in each of these spots. So this is what it looks like. Uh, we got Richardson back as our sweeper keeper on defense. Uh, we're going to play our guys as proper wingbacks. Uh, one on support, one on attack. Um, with two ball playing. Actually, I don't know if I want to play this as ball playing defenders. Do I? Mm, I might change this. I forgot to actually change these guys. Honestly, I'm just going to play as a proper central defender. And then you're going to play as a probably a proper central defender as well. Um, something like that. We're just going to play just, just back to the basics of what these guys actually know and play the best. So pair of central defenders, Brisley, Kalinin. Kalinin is our statistically our best. He hasn't been playing as our best, but maybe he just doesn't like playing as a ball-playing defender as much. We'll see. Kirby's still playing in here as a ball-winning midfielder. Uh, and then we've got the guys on the outside wings. Um... One's still playing as a winger, just like he was before, but the other one's playing as an inverted winger. Bun on the left-hand side playing as an inverted winger. We'll see what that does for him. We're switching Tom, Thomas instead of a shadow striker. We're switching to an uh, advanced playmaker um, because we just didn't really have one. Um, Dernley still stays as an advanced forward, and um, Onyeka comes back as a pressing forward to try and just change up some, some things here, change up some what people are seeing, try to play to our guys' strengths a bit. I got nothing. I got, I got nothing else. I, I changed, I think, a couple instructions. Not much, really. 
Um, we're going to see. So this is really not the Zaz Blue 4.0 uh, tactic anymore. This is my tactic. I guess I should name rename it at some point, but whatever. It's fine. I'll leave it there. But it is effectively a tactic that I'm kind of just trying to work into here, trying to force fit into here. Uh, if this doesn't work, then I'm kind of back to the drawing board of trying to figure out what in the world we can do. Uh, we could run three strikers. Uh, I've done something like that in the past in, my, in some of my games. I don't know what we do in the midfield, though. Um, I just I don't know. We're really kind of stuck right now. So I'm going to run with this. Uh, we've got a game against the last place team in the league. If we can't beat these guys, then what else are we going to do? I mean, there's there's nothing else we can do. So we're going to come in here. We're going to play against... Um, who is it, actually? Against uh, Telford, AFC Telford. So we'll see if we can get a win here. We, we just desperately need something. And not just a win... We need a convincing win, is kind of how I feel right now. We need an absolutely convincing win to lift our guys up, lift the fans up, uh, lift the board up. Just everybody needs to be coming out of this win feeling like, okay, that's the team we have we've saw earlier, and they're back, and maybe, you know, some signs of something. So we'll see. Not Again, not much is changing. That's the problem. We're really not changing much. But I, I just don't have anything left. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Except start getting much more drastic with the players we're bringing in uh, and things like that. I just, I don't know. All right, there's a good good catch by Richardson there. Come on, guys. So this has basically been how it's been this entire time, by the way. The other teams get just absolute easy, easy mode goals. Um, and then every single one of our goals either gets blocked or gets called back for offsides or goes off the post or whatever it may be. Just, it's not like we're not getting shots. It's not like we're not getting chances. It's not like we're not getting, you know, positive XG. We are. We're just not converting them into goals. And it's just, I know this happens every year. Every season, it's just about with any team, you always have that lull, right? You always have that mid-season lull. And it's like, what can you do to change it? What can you do to, to overcome that? Sometimes the right move is just to stay the course and trust your team to pull it back around. Sometimes the right move is to drastically change up formations. Uh, maybe my attempted change to a two defender, or two defensive midfielder and one striker just wasn't enough of a change. Uh, that really, I mean, it really wasn't. And there wasn't much of a change there. Mostly the same formation, just one guy basically moved. Maybe we need to get more drastic than that. I just don't have a lot of the players to support a much more drastic formation change. But if we don't get it today, I don't know. We'll see. Well, if we don't get it today, I'm going to have to come up with something else for the second game of, of today. Something drastic, probably. Like I said, maybe a three-striker thing. Maybe a... I don't know. I'm, I'm really just not sure what to do. I feel like it, I don't think it's a quality of player thing. I really do think it's a tactic. Uh, I think, I think it's a tactic thing, and I'm just trying to figure out. It, it's just the first the tactic we had before worked so good. All right, so there's a there's a pickup. I mean that looked. I mean, maybe we got a little bit lucky there. So I don't want to put too much credit on that. But I mean, we're up two to one. I think if we don't win this game by three goals at least, I'm still going to be concerned. All right. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. We're going to see. I, I just don't have anything to say. I don't have any... I, just trying to do what we can do here. It's just... It's not been easy. Oh, come on. Come on. We got to get that one. We got to get that one. I'm going to wait and do two pair of subs at, six, at the 60 minute mark at this point. Come on, guys. Got to get these. All right, we're going to go ahead and swap a few people around. Uh, do we have anybody coming for Burke? We do not have anybody coming for Burke. Um, apparently, Bristley could play over there. So, why does that not work when I do that? Okay, fine. Bristley comes across. So weird. And then Burke gets swapped out for granted at this point. Um, and then we're going to swap somebody else out. Do we want to swap Osborne or do we want to swap Newton? 
We do have somebody that's coming from Newton. We do have somebody that's coming from Osborne. So either one of these would be okay. We're going to bring Elliot in, give him a chance to see what he can do, and go from there. So let's try that and see what happens. Um, I just don't know. I, I'm not getting, even in this game, even if we end up winning this game, which I'm not sure that we are going to still, uh, I'm not sure that I feel like we've made the improvement that we need to make. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring Clark in on that side. I'm glad that Clark can play in both those places. So we'll see what he can do as an attacking player here. Uh, again, I'm going to have to get drastic. I'm going to have to get crazy drastic with this. I mean, we're, we're getting shots. We've got several on target. Our XG is looking meh. Yeah. But against the worst team in the league, nah, we should be playing better than this. This is still not good enough. This is still not enough of a change. Not at home. Not against the worst team in the league. And we might not even be winning this game. There's still an extremely good chance right here that they're about to draw this thing up and just make this whole thing just, you know, <laughs> frustrating to the next degree. All I see this win doing is a stay of execution. Um, I mean, maybe a little bit of a lift for the guys to say, hey, sort of good job, but I still don't think it's enough. Mm. Goodness, I don't know what to do. So part of my problem is that, um, and maybe I'm just not used to it yet, but I'm not, I'm not as happy with the new squad planner as the old one or the kind of the old thing. Uh, I, okay. Let me rephrase that. I, I, I should rephrase. Let me get through this real quick because I do like the new squad planner. I just don't like the fact that the other thing is gone unless I'm just not seeing it. Um, where you could see like all the, all the different, um, there's a much easier, e easier to see who you had where. And you could even do the thing where you could see what, um, where your strengths were, what your ratings were, like different things like that. I'm not seeing that in this, this thing. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure that this is replacing what I want. This isn't doing what I want, right? This is, there's, there's a, there's a piece missing. I'm okay with this existing. I just don't think I'm okay with this existing in lieu of the, the other thing that tells us really what, um, what's going on with our team. Like, see, none of this has really helped. Like, we used to have the little squad view, and this is just not. I mean, best eleven doesn't help me. This is not. This is not helpful for me to figure out which formation is best for me. I mean, unless I can, yeah, I can't even. Change, I'd have to come up with the formation. Assistant report. I mean, we've seen that before. That doesn't help me. Statistics comparison. None of this stuff helps me. Experience matrix. That doesn't help me. Uh, position view. Okay, sure. I mean, again, good information. Not really helping me with what I want. <laughs> the way I want it, you know, uh, we're missing that one piece of just being able to look at something like this and seeing all the strengths that we have in each of these spots. So I can really easily, you know, come up with a, a tactic here. Um, like this is not, it's not quite what I'm looking for. This, this type of view for one, it only shows three. I think the other one showed like five or six. Um, so I'm missing that. So not super happy with some of this, the way this is set up again, not at the exclusion of the other thing. If this exists and the other thing, 100% fine with this. Um, but like I said, we could probably find a way to come up with three strikers or we could find a way to come up with, honestly, we could find a way to come up with three attacking midfielders or something crazy. Um, hmm. I, I'm going to play around with this a little bit. Um, we'll be right back. Oh, I mean, we, we got to win. Yay us. Can we get one against Hereford here? 13th in the league. That's another team we should be beating at home. I'm going to go play around. I might come up with something absolutely ridiculous crazy. We will see. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. And uh, I said I was going to go crazy because uh, this is not even a real formation. This is this is a nothing formation. <laughs> but I'm just trying to throw stuff at a wall and like see if it sticks. At this level, and we can kind of get away with stupid stuff like this, I feel like. Um, this is not a real formation. <laughs> this is just not a real thing, I don't think. I don't even know if the... That's, I mean, that's why I'm calling it crazy sauce, because this is just crazy. <laughs> um, there's no reason why this would work at all. We have such a gap here in the middle. Such a huge hole in the middle. Um, but we're going to find out just because why not? I, I got what I got to lose, right? Um, just out of curiosity, if I push one of you up as a stopper, does that fill any of that gap? Not really. So we're going to keep you guys both at defend. Uh, we're just going to 
sometimes it's just fun to try stupid things and see if they work. I've come up with some crazy formations that have worked in the past. Um, it would be crazy if this one somehow worked at all. Even if it does work, I don't expect it to work for the duration of the rest of the season. It would probably work for like a, a few matches before the rest of the teams like realize what in the world's going on because they're probably too busy rolling over laughing right now and then we'll score a couple of goals and we might win a couple games and then they're gonna be like oh wait a minute he's, he's serious let's 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 actually <laughs> let's actually do something about it um we'll see i'm just putting people in form and okay here, here's one way that you that i have done formations in the past that has for whatever reason worked and that is just put people in positions that they can actually play even if the formation doesn't make sense because usually they just come through and they do what they got to do so we'll see if putting people in the formations that they, they can actually play, position they can actually play, actually helps us at all, or if it's just complete idiocy and hurts us. Here comes Thomas. In that Shadow Striker spot, doing exactly what I want him to do. I want him to score. I want Bun to score. These guys are Shadow Strikers. They're, they're our true strikers. Onyeka's playing as a pressing forward. He's kind of there more to disrupt than to actually score at this point. I reserve judgment for just a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. We're going to get exposed at some point. That is definitely going to happen. Thomas gets tripped up. Durnley with the ball, though. He's pushing up, but he does get it. Back control. Tries to get over to Elliot, sort of. Uh, not able to come up with it. There's Newton picking it up. Uh, there's Durnley now going for it. Thomas now again. He gets pulled down. It is going to be a penalty. We are going to get another chance at this. Nice. All right. I mean, we forced a penalty because we were in there, right? Like I, I feel like we did force that penalty. We were in the box. We were we were had it overloaded with our players. They had to try to do something and ended up getting a penalty for it. So I honestly I think that's a success of what we were trying to do right there as well. It's just the first time we get exposed off that through that midfield is when we're really gonna see how bad this formation is. Uh Bon over here on this left hand side. He gets up. He's got a couple guys in the middle. Tazdemir getting himself a goal here as the advanced playmaker. Or attacking playmaker. I forget what they are suddenly. <laughs> Why am I forgetting? They're advanced playmaker, right? That's, that's, that's the right one. Attacking forward advanced playmaker. I, I don't remember now. Now, I, I think I remember, but I'm having that moment of, wait a minute, something doesn't sound right. So now I'm second guessing myself. Okay. Waiting for the exposure to happen. Corner kick coming in from Newton. Nothing going there. Tazdemir chasing that one down. He gets it up to Elliott's there. Oh, good save. Good shot too, though. I mean, he had it on the target. Really good shot. Just a just a really nice save as well. There's Lee. Tries to head it up. Durnley's there. Not able to come up with anything. Really, the way I'm envisioning this formation pretend working um and it's not gonna work right here because we got we definitely got exposed there we got lucky there we got big time exposed the way i'm sort of envisioning this formation to work and there's probably some adjustments i can make to make it work the way i actually kind of want it to work is that the the wing backs as inverted wingers are going to kind of swoop into the middle a little bit and kind of cover that midfield just just a little bit and maybe just enough to kind of not completely set us up. Whereas the wingers, since they're pushed a little bit further back than attacking wingers, they're going to help kind of control that side. And there's Onyeka. Okay. I still feel like our defense is just asking to be exploited at this point. But apparently we can score with this formation. Another corner kick coming from Bun. Nothing going there. All right, here they come. Here they come. Oh, all right, come on. Y'all deserve one. Y'all deserve one. Y'all played good. Oh, they missed it. Come on, guys. 
I'm cheering on the other team just because I feel like I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop here. Richardson, deep kick over to Burke. Burke's going to cut inside a little bit. Oh, nope, he's going to actually... Yep, there he goes. Lee now with the ball. Leaving just a lone defender back there. But there's Burke getting past the defense. <laughs> Burke coming in from the inverted wingback roll on the right-hand side. We have three attacking midfielders and a striker. And he's the one that just scooched through there and uh, does what he's going to get that's, that's awesome. That's really funny. Newton trying to get it to, um, who is that? I actually don't know if that is Dunn, or not Dunn, Bun. I can't think that might have been Bun up there. Come on, guys. Come on. Go get that. Chase that down. There we go. Burke picking it up. Pushing it up. Gets it over to Bun. Bun. He's got options. He's got Elliot on this left-hand side who's not covered at all. Oh, that should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. He, he, he played, he did that so well. He deserved that one. There's Elliot picking that one back up. He gets tripped up. Uh, and then he just stops. I don't know, maybe he just got dazed. I don't know, that was kind of weird. Uh, Elliot should have picked up that goal, though. Okay, 5 nothing in first half. Uh, Crazy Sauce is... Uh, working? Do I, do I dare say that it's working? No, surely not. Again, I think it might work for a few, few um, matches. And then the other teams are going to be like, you know, wait a minute. <laughs> this is stupid. They might just be confused right now. And we're just getting absolutely lucky on some of these shots. Because they should they should have scored at least three by now, I think. Based on what I've seen. We'd still be leading, but they should have scored three. There's only Yon Yeka. Dernley's going to try to get that one. Burke's there to pick that one up. He's going to get it up to, not to Thomas, but there's Bun. <laughs> it's that overload of attackers. I mean, I'll give you that. We are absolutely overloading the box with attackers they just they do not know what to do right now they absolutely do not know what to do calling in pushing the ball up to nobody that was not a very good play my friend there's Newton, though, picking that one up. I don't really see much from Newton today. He's got a very quiet 7.0 on his score. Cullinan pushing it up again. Gets it over to Elliot. Elliot, come on, buddy. Over to Cullinan. He's got some options. There's Newton. Oh, New Newton needed that one. I want a score from both my wingbacks. Come on. Is that too much to ask? All right, everybody's healthy. Everybody's playing well. We're going to hold off on substitutions for a few more minutes. We'll get some people in just because I want some more people in experience. But we're going to hold off on any actual... Truth be told, I set up the team, but I forgot to set up the bench. So I actually don't know who we have on the bench. We have two defend central defenders, a defense midfielder, which we don't need, and a striker. So <laughs> not exactly the greatest setup here. Um, we'll bring Bristley in for Colin. And we'll bring Bowden in for Onyeka. I need to do a better job of setting those guys up, though. All right, here's a chance for Hereford. Nope, nothing there. Bowden, can you get that one? Not quite enough speed on my friend. Oh, got that one kicked off his face, just to look like. There's Bowden picking that one up. Nope, he just gives it away. Bowden, you just came in. All right, good catch by Richardson. Looked like he came too far away from goal and was about to just give up an open goal shot from half court. I know it's not basketball, but <laughs> uh, Thomas to Bowden. Bowden, go, buddy. Oh, Bun. Oh, I thought that one went in. I saw the, wet, the net wiggle. All right. Last sub, probably just our other defender, just because it's about the only other person we have that can come in here. Um, so, yeah, we'll just swap him in just to get somebody else some game time here. I need to set up our bench better next time.
Come on, guys. Here they come. Here we're getting a, we're getting a really good attack coming now. There we go. Okay, they finally got one. Good for them. They deserved it. They absolutely deserved it. Oh, goodness. How do we know what, what you would, how you would number this formation? It's not real, right? What is it, a four, two, three, one winger? I mean, what is, what is this formation? It's not a real formation, but it worked for one game. All right. Well, that was, that was fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cheer on some of the individuals who did some pretty good work here for us. All you guys get some good applause um you were excellent and then Bowden buddy not quite as good I don't know that was a that was a that was a funny one we'll, we'll call it a funny one puts us back into second place suddenly um still I mean it's been more I think they've I think they figured out their 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 setup and I think they're just gonna go on to win this whole thing to be honest um, but yeah, there you go, guys. <laughs> I have no explanation for that at all, but it's funny and we'll see. I'm going to, I'm going to play more until, <laughs> until we start losing again, which I expect to happen, but that's a pretty big stomping. Uh, how, how bad did we beat Hereford earlier on in the season? We lost to them two to three. Okay. Yeah. So that tells you something. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about crazy sauce? <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, once that stops working, uh, we will very likely go to something more realistic like this. Still a lot of um, attacking midfielders, but an actual like somebody anchoring down the middle. But for now, <laughs> until it stops working, we're going to kill for it. So anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching though. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.